హాయ్ హల్లో గైస్ దిశి శరత్చంద్ర్ కే వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ జాయినింగ్ మీ టుడే ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీ విల్ క్రియేట్ ఏ మోడర్న్ డిజిటల్ క్లాక్ విత్ అన్ అలాంగ్ ఫ్యూచర్ ఫ్రమ్ స్క్రాచ్ యూసింగ్ హెచ్టిఎంఎల్ సిఎస్ఎస్ అండ్ జావా స్క్రిప్ట్ గెట్ రెడీ టు వేక్ అప్ టు ద వరల్డ్ ఆఫ్ వెబ్ డెవలప్మెంట్ విత్ దిస్ అలాంగ్ ఫ్యూచర్ వితౌట్ వేస్టింగ్ యువర్ టైమ్ లెట్స్ డైవ్ ఇన్ టు క్విక్ డెమో ఇన్ దిస్ డెమో యూ క్యాన్ ఏబుల్ టు సీ ద కరెంట్ డేట్ అండ్ టైమ్ విత్ అన్ డిజిటలైజ్డ్ ఫార్మట్ This is a very good project to understand how the JavaScript date object is working. And then right below, we have an option to set an alarm with the help of this three options. The first option contains hours and then second option contains minutes and then third option contains session. And then below, we have an alarm name and here we have a button to set alarm. If we hit this, the focus is went to this text box because this is a mandatory field to set an alarm name so for example now i will add a wake up alarm at 6 am i will set this 6 am and i will hit this now the alarm was created the name with wake up alarm and then alarm time is 6 am and then below we have duration to show how much time is pending for our alarm so for now we have 14 hours 33 minutes is pending see now it was changed to 32 minutes because this is reducing based on the current time so once this reaches what will happen so for that i will stop this and i will add a alarm of 3 o'clock 28 minutes with the help of pm and then alarm name should be test if i set this now you can see the alarm name as test and then alarm time and then duration see this is reducing to based on the current time once it reaches the alarm time of 3 o'clock 28 minutes we'll get the alarm tone over here we have five more seconds 3 2 1 and now you have heard that alarm tone right that is how that alarm will work we need to stop this alarm manually with the help of stop alarm event but we were not stopping there i will explain every line of code so you truly understand how this works by the end of this tutorial you will have a beautiful digital clock with alarm future that's all for the demo if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below make sure to subscribe for more coding tutorial and tech content your subscription is a vote of confidence and it enables us to keep producing high quality informative video that you can learn and enjoy with your friends let's build our own here i have already created a project folder name called digital clock with alarm let me open this into my favorite code editor visual studio code i will drag this directory into a visual studio code and then visual studio code will automatically load all the files into it inside that i have already created a index.html style.css and script.js along with this i have added a digital font and clock column of mp3 now we'll start adding the html so in the index.html we need to create the html boilerplate for that we have a embed abbreviation type exclamation mark and hit enter it will automatically create a html boilerplate into the index.html and then we'll change the title to digital clock with alarm by sharachandar k if you want this empty project structure i have added a github repo please clone it and start working with me and then we'll add other two files into the index.html for that we have another abbreviation with link colon css if i hit enter it will automatically create a link tag with the href of style.css a link tag defines the relationship between current document and an external resource now we'll link the script.js to for that we have a another embed abbreviation with script colon src if i hit enter it will automatically create a script tag with the source attribute a script tag is used to embed on client side script or it points to an external script file through the source attribute we need to manually type the file name here for us script.js and then we'll add the defer keyword here defer is a boolean keyword this will help us to load the script file once the pages pass the loading and then we'll add the div inside the body body element contains all the content of an html document 
inside that we'll add the div div tag defines a division or a session in an html document for that we have a another abbreviation with div we are going to add the class of container and i will hit enter it will automatically create a div tag with the class attribute with the value of container inside that we are going to add two more divs so for that with the help of div and now we are going to add the id for that we need to add the hashtag and id value with digital clock and i will hit enter it will create a div tag with the id attribute and then with the value of digital clock we will create one more div with the value of id digital date if i hit enter it will create the same and now we'll see our html file in action we have a extension called go live if you hit this in the status bar it will automatically create a server and run our html file into the default browser i will split the screen what is live server generally when we make any changes into an html document we need to manually refresh the page right for that go live come into the picture if i add anything into the html file and it save it will automatically refresh the page instantly without reload the page every time so if i remove and if i save see it will automatically affect that in the browser that is how the live server will work and then now we'll jump into the style.css we'll style this html so i will go here and i will type asterisk asterisk is an void code that means all element we are going to set margin and padding 0 for all element this is a global selector with the help of this i will going to add the margin 0 px padding to 0 px and then box sizing border box and i will add the styles to the body so i will copy this selector this is body as a selector it will be directly reachable with the value name we need to set this digital clock into the center of the screen if you want to learn how to set a div for easy methods i have already added a video into the code please do check it out i will set the display flux and then i will set the background color of light blue color if i save now you can able to see the changes immediately we'll set the height 100 vh vh is an viewport height and then text align center align item center justify content center i'll jump into the index.html now we have set these styles to the body and we need to set these styles to the div we have a option to set the styles to the particular div with the help of class we have another selector with dot this will be reachable to the particular div with the value of class so for that i will set a background color of white and then inner spacing of padding 25 px width of 550 px and then we'll add the border radius 10 px if i save now you can able to see the container here right and now we'll jump into the script.js to add the time to it so we need to declare the values so how we can declare the values with the help of script so for that we have an option called document what is document if i save if i hit f12 now the console.log you can see the document document object represent your web page is the owner of all object in your web page if you want to access any element in the html page you always start with accessing the document object so with the help of this we are going to add the declaration so i will add the const i will set this digital clock equal to document dot get element by id easiest way to find an html element in the dom by using the element id so if i do the console.log of digital clock if i save now you can able to see the entire div here so if you want to learn more about dom or document please let me know in the comments i will add a separate course on that so i will add the digital date to it with the same const document dot get element by id and with the help of id and now we'll create a functions function is a block of code designed to perform a particular task so i will create a function called short time inside this i will add a console.log of new date so now if i save in the console.log nothing if it is a function we need to calls or we need to invoke this 
so if i invoke this if i save now you can able to see the the date object value right with the help of this we are going to set the current date here so for that what i will do i will add another const with current date time equal to new date with the help of this we can directly set this value into this digital clock so for that first i will set the digital date dot inner html if i set this date called 25 11 20 23 if i save now you can able to see the date right now i added a static values these things we need to change to dynamic so for that we have a option to get the current date get date if i save now the date is 25 so we can concatenate the values with the help of date object so i will go here and i will add the concatenation and i will add the dollar symbol here with the help of this we can able to concatenate the value current date and time with dot two local string will set default value with weekday long if i save now we will get the value of saturday if i change to short you will get sat i will change things to long because we need to get this saturday and then we'll add the next value here we have added the weekday and then we need to set the month and then date and then year so again i will go here and i will get another concatenation with current date and time dot to local string with default comma as i said now this is month colon and then same long if i save now you can able to see this saturday and then november right here we have a option to change this long narrow if it is narrow we will get only n and then we have a short we will get nov and we have a option to get the numeric with the value of 11 so i will change these things to long saturday november and then we'll get current day here so then we'll add the comma to it and i will again the help of concatenation current date and time dot get time so if i save it will get the get time instead of get time we'll set the get day if i save the date is 25 and then we'll add the other concatenation with current date and time dot get full year if i save now you can able to see this saturday november 25th 2023 and then we'll add the time to it so for that we need to split this date so we'll add the separate declaration with let equal to current date and time dot get hours if i copy this and i will add here if i save now you can able to see 16 because this our value will return the value to 0 to 23 because this is a 24 hours value we need to convert this 24 hours into 12 so we'll do it later and we'll get all the declarations with current date and time dot get minutes this will return a value of 0 to 59 and then we'll add the seconds current date and time dot get seconds this will also return 0 to 59 now here we'll check this value now this is 4 o'clock 54 seconds now if i refresh 4 o'clock 1 minutes and the seconds is changing this we can change dynamically in the later part so first we'll add the time to it so for that as i said now we are getting the hours as 24 hours we need to convert this to 12 hours so for that i will check hours w equal to 0 and then we'll set hours equal to 12 right and then if hours greater than 12 will minus the hours to 12 hours so if i save if i copy this console i will paste it here below now you can able to see the difference now this is 16 hours and i will minus things to 12 now we'll get the 4 hours 1 minute 53 seconds if i refresh we will get this value this is how we have converted this 24 into 12 so we can directly set this value into the digital clock right so i will go here i will i have already added the digital clock declaration with the help of inner html equal to 
I will concatenate these values if I save see now you can able to see 4 hour 3 minutes and 1 second these values we need to add the 0 so for that so we'll create a new function with called 0 pad and we'll pause the values with the param so here with the help of this function we'll return the string with adding the 0 so with param dot pad start with as we know we have hours as two digit minutes as two digit and seconds as two digit so we have placed this pad start at two digit and we'll place the zero here i will copy this and i will add this if i save now you can able to see the zero here so instead of zero we have changed any other value it will be placed here that is how the string pad start will work so i will change these things to zero so instead of this i will add the let declaration called time equal to zero pad hour and i will concatenate this value plus zero pad minute with zero pad second and i will pause this time directly to the inner html if i save now you can able to see the time and the date and now we'll change this time and date into the digitalized format for that i will jump into the style.css here in the style.css we are going to add the fonts to it so for that we have a option at font face with the help of font family we mentioned the font family called digital clock font and then url should be we have already added a digital font into the directory if i hit if i save nothing will happen so now we need to add the font family to the body with the help of digital clock font with the help of this value if i copy this and i will add here if i save now you can able to see this the font now we'll add the styles to it so for that i will add the styles to that particular div so for this div we have a class property and then we added the class based on this class and then we have a id so how we can set these styles to particular div for that we have another selector with hashtag with digital clock this will reachable to that particular div so i will add the color to same light blue color and then font size of 60 px and then letter spacing i will set 7 px and then margin 10 px if i save now you can able to see the clock design here so the same thing will add for the date too so again i will jump here and i will copy this id value and i will change this style suite the same thing will add so if it is the same thing we can add this to the with the help of comma if i save now you can able to see this and now we need to differentiate these two values so for that i will set the font size 30 px and then letter spacing should be 3 px if i save now you can able to see the difference here we'll jump into the index.html and we'll start adding the alarm style here so for that we'll add the div with the id of alarm row if i hit it will create a div inside that we are going to add the styles so for that we'll create alarm area with the help of div hit enter it will create and inside that we'll add the select option with the id of hours and then we'll create another select option with id of minutes with that another select option with the id of session and we'll add the options to it option dot am and then option value pm if i save now you can able to see the three select option right and then after that we'll add the button to it before that we need to add the input value so i will add the input type text with the id of alarm name input tag specifies an input field where the user can enter data so and then we'll set the placeholder alarm name and then we'll add the asterisk because this is a mandatory value so then another div with id of set alarm time because here we need to set the alarm time here and then next p tag with the id of alarm interval 
we need to calculate the time and we need to set the interval here we'll add the line break here and then we'll add the button id of set alarm and then value of set alarm if i save now you can able to see this session we are going to style this alarm area so for that i will add the alarm area set display flags because we need to set this all the element into the center of the screen with the help of gap 10 px and we need to set the justify content center we'll set the margin of outer spacing 15 px if i save now you can see the margin of 15 px and the gap of 10 px and then we'll add the styles to each select box so for that we have a option to add the styles to the select because we have added the due inside that we have a three select box we can able to set these styles with the help of this select this will applicable to all the select box so i will add like this and then we'll add the height of 35 px now if i save now you can able to see the styles to all the select box and then we'll add the width of 60 px if i save now you can see this we need to add the padding inner spacing of 5 px and then we'll set the font size of 18 px then we'll set the border radius 5 px and then we'll remove the outline with the help of none and we'll set our own border with 1 px solid with light gray color if i save now you can able to see three select with the same style we have styled this select and now we need to style this input box so again i will jump into the index.html and we are going to add the styles to this input right now in the html we don't have any other input so i can directly add the styles to the input i will set the font size 16 px and then border should none because we are going to set our own border we'll remove the outline of none width of 50 percentage now you can able to see this and then we'll set the own border with bottom border bottom with 1px solid and black color if i save now you can able to see this once we hit this input box we can add some styling here so for that input colon focus if we add the focus to the text box we'll add the padding to 5px if i save now if i focus here see now you can able to see the styles here so for that we'll add the transition with padding 0.3 second and 0.2 second erase so if i save now if i go here now you can able to see this transition how cool is this right and then we'll add the styles to that button again i will jump into the index.html for the button we have the id only we need to add the id of hashtag with set alarm and then we'll set the width of 50 percentage if i save now you can see this height of 45 px and then we'll set the cursor pointer and then font size 16 px and then we'll add the background of same light blue color then we'll set the border radius 5 px we'll set the outline of none color should be white if i save now you can able to see this and i will remove the border to border to none if i save you can't able to see the border to we'll add the margin bottom 20 px so we can able to get some space like a stop and then what else is pending so we have this two one so i will add some dummy values if i save now you can able to see this this value should be dynamic for the styling purpose i have added the static values to style this so i will add the styles to the same id selector with one size of 30 px and then we'll set the color of light black color and then margin of 10 px if i save now you can able to see this and then we'll add the styles to the interval to with the id selector again the font size will show the difference between this and this i will reduce to 20 color should be same light black color and then margin also 10px if i save 
now you can able to see this so now i will remove this value if i save this value is removed so that's all for the design so i will jump into the script.js first we need to add the declarations to it so again i will go here what are the declaration is there first i will add this previously we have added these two declarations and we need to add this declaration with document dot get element by id with the id value and then minutes document dot get element by id with minutes and then session two and then alarm name document dot get element by id and then set alarm time set alarm time equal to document dot get element by id with set alarm time alarm interval and then we'll have the button to document dot get element by id set alarm i will add the declaration to this div2 because this div we are going to add whenever we set the alarm so for that again i will add the declaration document dot get element by id with this i'll change this if i save now we have created all the declarations we'll start adding the hours and minutes here so for that we have a option whenever we load the window we need to add the add event listener so for that we have a option of load with the help of function i will add the console dot log of one if i save once we load the window then this will fire with the help of this we are going to add this dynamic values as we know we have 12 hours and 60 minutes for that time so for that what i will do i will add a for each of hour and then i will change this value to 12 because we have a 12 hours hours equal to 1 and if i add the console.log h if i save now you can able to get these values these values we can directly append into the select input box so the same thing will add for the minutes too i will copy and paste the same for each with the help of minutes as we know we have a 60 seconds right so it will start from zero and will complete with 59 seconds so now the 1 to 12 and then 0 to 59 this both the values we need to append to this select values so for that we have a option create element will add the let option equal to document dot create element with the help of option so and then option dot text equal to h and we need to add this for that we have already added a declaration hours dot append child and now we'll add the option if i save now you can able to see this now one two three is there we need to add the zero pad to this two we have already added a function with the zero pad we'll add the text as well as value to if i save now it will add the concatenation with zero the same thing will add to the minutes to i'll remove this instead of hours we need to change these things to minutes if i save now we'll get the 12 hours and 59 seconds right and we'll invoke this show time inside the onload so if i save we'll get this and we'll receive the time too and we need to run this time per seconds right for that we have a option to set the interval so i will jump into the function show time here end of this i will set the set interval with the same method show time with duration of one second if i save now see you can able to see the time it is running here the session is missing right so we'll add the session with the help of declaration session equal to hours greater than equal to 12 then we'll set pm else we'll set am if i save nothing will happen we need to concatenate this session i will command this for now i will concatenate this session into if i save now you can able to see this current time with the session and then with the current date so now we have commanded this so if i refresh you will get all the time so now we'll add the functionalities to this so for that whenever we click this set alarm then only we are going to set the alarm right so for that i will add the event listener with 
set alarm dot add event listener will add the click event with the function i will add the console dot log one if i save if i hit this button now this button will fire and we'll get the console dot log here so inside that we are going to add the functionalities so now first we need to find the what was the alarm time here so for that in the console dot log already we have added the hours dot value if i save if i hit now we'll get the one if i change something else if i hit now we'll get the values the same thing we need to concatenate so i will add the let declaration with alarm time equal to hours dot value will concatenate the values same as time minutes dot value and then we'll add the session to session dot value if i save i will add this value here now if i hit now we will get this value so instead of this we'll add the seconds to here so if i save now we will get this value i will change this to 5 am or 5 pm we'll get this value now we'll receive the alarm time here based on the alarm time we need to get the difference right so for that i will create one more function called get time difference inside this we are going to add another let declaration with today equal to new date because we are going to get the differentiate with the current two dates right for that we need to get the current date and alarm time so for that i will create a string today dot get date so for this i will already added a zero pair with today dot get date and then let month equal to zero pad today dot get month and then let year equal to today dot get full year so now we'll change the today to month we are going to do the format for this i will change this month date plus year i will add the console dot log today and we'll call the get different function inside this button if i save now we will get this values here With the help of this we are going to get the alarm start and alarm end values for that i will add another declaration with alarm start new date today plus plus with digital clock dot inner html if i say if i hit now we will get this current date value with the value of date object with the help of this only we are going to find that difference so only we have added this condition and then the same thing we'll do for alarm n2 so i will add the same value with new date date object we need to get this alarm time right now how we can get this alarm time so for that instead of this let variable we are going to add this as a global variable so i will add the let variable here with alarm time now we will receive the alarm time over here so if i set now you can able to see the alarm time here if i change and i will hit now we'll get this alarm time here so with the help of this alarm time sorry today with alarm time so i will add this alarm end here now if i set now this is alarm start if i save if i hit now you will get the two different date object with the help of this we are going to get the difference so for that i will add another let difference equal to alarm end minus alarm start now if i check this different once we hit this set alarm we will get the values with milliseconds we need to convert this milliseconds into the hours so for that i will add the let millisecond equal to different and then we'll add the let hours with math dot floor this will round off your value with millisecond divided by thousand this thousand is a millisecond of seconds and then 60 minutes and then this millisecond value is the difference of both this alarm end 
and alarm start if it is a 60 we can able to get the millisecond of thousand and this will be minutes and this will be hours if i save now i will check this difference if i eat now we will get the 16 right now we are in the four o'clock so we are getting the 16 hours the same thing we need to do for others too i will add the let mm equal to math dot floor before that we need to get this milliseconds convert to hour so i will minus this with our value into thousand and i will multiply with minutes and seconds and with the help of milliseconds i will divide it by seconds and then minutes if i save now we'll get the minutes to 16 hours and 18 minutes and then with the same thing with m milliseconds we are going to multiply with minutes with 1000 milliseconds with 60 minutes again i will add the let of seconds with math dot floor m seconds divided by seconds and i will check this seconds here for it now we will get this hours value too we are getting the negative value of hours before that we'll add the milliseconds minus equal to ss into milliseconds so now we'll add the hours less than zero will change this equal to 24 plus hours if i copy this if i save if i eat, now we'll get the difference of 8 hour 16 minutes and 24 seconds and now we'll directly set these values into the air so for that alarm interval dot in html with the help of zero pad hours the same thing for with the help of zero pad with minutes then zero pad of seconds if i save if i hit this now we'll get the difference here now we need to add the validation to it again i will jump to this event first we need to check if the alarm name dot value not equal to null then only we are going to set this right so if i hit this nothing will happen so if it is else we are going to add the styles we need to add the alarm name dot focus already we added transition for this if it is focus then we'll add the set attribute of style and we'll change the border color to px solid to red if i save i will hit set alarm now you can able to see this without this we can't able to proceed the alarm so if i add a alarm name test if i eat now we have displayed the interval values and we need to hide this right and we need to change these things too so for that i will add the if condition set alarm dot inner text double equal to set alarm if it is else we are going to do and if this values is present we have set these values and we'll check this time difference too and then we'll set the value set alarm dot inner text to stop alarm right if i save if i add test and i will set now this value is changed and we'll change the styles too if this is happen we need to hide this right already we have a declaration with alarm row dot set attribute of style display none if i save again i will came here i will add test if i set now you won't be able to see that we'll change the color to this button with the help of set alarm dot set attribute with style background red color if i save one and i will hit now you can able to see this right now we need to add the alarm time and the name as well and i will create one let declaration with h5 with the help of document i will create the element with h5 h5 dot inner text will add as a alarm name dot value and says this is the alarm if i save and 
will append these things to inside the div so i will append h5 here if i save i will add test and i will set alarm now you can able to see this and now we'll add the alarm time here so we'll do the same thing with let i will create a document dot create element with p tag p dot in a text equal to this hours dot value minutes dot value and then session if i save and again i will append this set a lot time dot append child of p tag i will add the test if i set alarm object html by session dot value if i save test set alarm now you can able to see this test alarm the test name and this was the duration and if i hit stop it will be rechanged to that particular values right for that i will get into the set alarm dot inner text equal to set alarm if i add this and then now again we'll copy this to property because we are going to set this display block and then we'll add the styles to same light blue color if i save again i will add the test i will set alarm now it was set if i stop now it was enabled and these things we need to clear so for that set alarm time dot inner text equal to null and then we'll clear the alarm name value also alarm name value equal to null if i save if i add the test set alarm and stop alarm still this interval is there so alarm interval dot inner text equal to null if i add the test set alarm stop alarm everything is fine now we need to run this so for that again i will go here i will remove this and i will enable this set interval if i save now you can able to see the time is running so for example i will add the alarm of 5 pm with test if i set alarm we have a five minutes right we need to reduce these things right so for that we have already segregated these values with the function once we get this and then we'll add the set interval with the same function name the function name is get difference with 1000 milliseconds if i save this was clear and i will hit test 5 pm if i set now you can able to see this it was reducing four minutes is there if i stop this now it was not stopped why we need to fix this so again i will add a global declaration here with alarm clock equal to null so we'll add this add class interval to this set interval and then i will go here once we stop this and then we'll clear the interval with that particular object i will came here and i will set the alarm call test if i hit this now we'll get this now if i stop test and i will set and i will stop because of this clear interval alarm clear interval now instead of this we can change these things to clear timeout because we need to set this as a timeout set timeout function if i refresh this i will add this test now this is stopped interval was not clear now if i sing now we can able to see this now the pending is we need to add the sound right for that again i will add the global variable called alarm tone equal to we have a property called new audio and then we have already added the mp3 file here alarm dot mp3 you can use whatever the file you need and then we'll add one more boolean flag to play and pause the alarm equal to false if i save i will go here now we need to add the condition inside the show time because this is running on the interval based on the show time once this two values is matches then only we are going to set the alarm right so for that we have already added the alarm time global variable with the help of this 
we have a time object here if two things matches we'll going to set the alarm so for that i will save this i will five o'clock one minute and then pm i will add to test if i set alarm now we have 33 minutes 33 seconds then once this reaches we'll add the alarm interval dot inner text equal to null right and then we'll set the clear time out of alarm interval now three two one see now you can able to see this alarm because this two values is matches so now i will save this and instead of this we are going to play the alarm audio so for that if these two things match and we add the alarm tone dot play and then we'll set in the loop user need to stop this manually till the end it will be played and then we'll add the alarm name dot value equal to null then set time alarm dot in a text equal to null so if i save again i will go here in the five o'clock three minutes and now this is mandatory field and i will change these things to pm and i will add test and i will set the alarm here now we have 36 minutes now here we have some lag here because of that run time interval we have some issue on that so once this reaches now you can able to hear that alarm sound you can able to hear that right so we will stop this if i stop but it was still running so for that once it stop i will refresh this i will go here in the stop and then here we add alarm tone dot pass if i set now can able to see the set interval have some issue so i will change that the set interval of 5 5 pm then test if i set now this is fixed because previously it was 1000 milliseconds now i changed to 100 now we can able to see this now it was running once the time is match we have 10 more seconds once this reaches we'll get the alarm tone here now you can able to hear that alarm right if i stop the alarm tone also will stop if you are interested in javascript project i have created a playlist called javascript project for beginner to advance i have added a link in the description please check it out that's all for the video thank you so much for watching until next time keep coding and keep learning see you in the next video happy coding bye for now have a nice day